What's going on guys, Z here from the Austin Red Show bringing you some more Funko Pops. This time we have a new X-Men wave, so I guess I don't know what the wave's called, but we got some new X-Men Pops. I don't have all the ones I wanted to show you guys because the one that I wanted didn't come in, and we'll talk about that, but I just want to show these off because we have them and we were running out of stuff to do videos on because of everything going on, stuff's not shipping to us, so we're running out of stuff to do. But we finally have a Rogue and Funko Pops, which is again, just like a normal stance. This is just the basic Rogue. You can find this, you know, anywhere that Pops are sold and everything. But then we have the Hot Topic exclusive one where she She's in more of a flying position, but of course we'll open up and look at these. But it's pretty cool that they have her in the flying. That's the one I like the most because I like the whole, you know, effect of her flying and stuff. Just looks very cool. And the last two we have here are the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops. So this was for Emerald City Comic Con that didn't take place, but Funko still did their convention exclusive. So you can see their whole uh, sticker on there with 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition exclusive. And it has the green sticker. So we know that's ECCC. So we have Gambit, which was a Walgreens exclusive. And he's standing here. He has his actual bow staff where a normal Gambit and have the cards and then we have toad which was a funko shop exclusive and i was super excited to get that so the only one we're missing that from this video was the entertainment earth exclusive gambit where he has the glow in the dark cards that he's kind of like throwing out which was pretty cool so i was hoping to get that in but for some reason it hasn't shipped yet when all these others have come out so far so i don't know what's going on with that but i wanted to throw that in the video but of course it didn't ship and i wanted to do this video so that's kind of unfortunate but let's go ahead and open these up and look at them out of the box and see how well they did with the paint jobs and everything i'm excited to see them and i hope they're in good condition so let's get into them. So we have the basic Rogue up first and again she's designed in like what I call like the 92 X-Men so from like the X-Men TV show or the Jim Lee style of X-Men just in that classic look that I love of X-Men. So very cool looking looks like classic Rogue of course has the normal female face with the black eyes with the eyelashes of course but then I love her hair so she has her white hair streak on top of course you can see some of the green headband and then she has the lower half of the brown hair as you can see as it goes all the way around. So again not best on paint job especially here around like the hairline stuff a lot of the white came down onto the brown but very nice long brown hair so it's like this pop is mostly hair than anything and then we go down to her outfit which she it's hard to gonna be hard to see yeah you can see it there she does have a like a big yellow paint streak there across her like chin area so that's kind of unfortunate but that's what you get sometimes but then we have our actual costume in the iconic yellow and green outfit so very cool looking she even has the brown like bomber jacket on the like smaller jacket as you can see there it's kind of wrapped around there it goes around the back there into the front then she has the yellow gloves on which is pretty cool of course for her powers and everything has the x there up on her chest the black collar there around the top and then a belt around her waist that has the red x on it for of course the x-men logo and then the rest is just like i said the iconic yellow and green outfit so yellow down the center green on the sides and arms and the knee-high yellow boots with the green straps around it looks just very cool overall i just really love the look of this rogue pop overall just where some of the paint was a little bit better and then of course she does have the stand which she really needs because her feet are off on this so it's a good thing they included stands because at least for the one i have you definitely need it but very cool here for just the basic rogue pop but then we've got the hot topic exclusive one which again is the one i like the most and i think it looks overall a little bit better has a little bit better paint job just overall so again exact same face design everything probably the exact same face that i look at it's probably just you know reuse of the head because you know that'd make more sense it doesn't really need to be any changes or anything going on to it but the, as you can see though her pose is a little bit different so she's in like a flying stance since rogue has the powers of the fly so they have her in the flying up on the base stand so it keeps her up in the air and flying and her, the way her knees are bent and stuff and she has her fist out you know getting ready to fight so very cool i love just the more action poses they do with pops i think it makes them look a lot better and more dynamic and everything and so i just love this pop overall so if you're looking for this one go to hot topic because that's where it's exclusive to and i had no trouble getting out. i don't know if it's still available online or anything but i think this is just very cool overall like i said the paint job's perfect camp box came in perfect condition so just a very great looking pop overall for rogue but next up we have her boyfriend of gambit so we have the emerald city comic-con exclusive gambit again this was a walgreens exclusive so that's where you will find this if you are interested in it but a very cool looking gambit pop overall again in that classic jim lee 92 look so again we have the male face there he has red eyes this time because for some reason he has red eyes so it must be part of his powers or something but he has the black like helmet thing covering his face i don't know what you call it, but just the thing completely covering his face you just have his face cut out there but then it allows his hair to stick up over the top so it's the longer style brown hair it has sort of a little bit of red tint to it but it's you know he sticks up and comes over the top and that's very cool that they've got that just like a classic look of gambit there but then we go to his body so he has his classic of course trench coat on so it kind of matches with rogues but his actually you know covers his whole body is a whole trench coat but in the brown leather and underneath he has his classic armor there so he has the metallic like steel i guess is what you call it you can see it there like on his boots and there around the bottom of what it's it be say like the shirt and then there around the color again it's hard to see and sometimes it's portrayed as like a blue color and i love when it's blue with like the hot pink color just like stands out really well this is more of just a gray but it has a little bit of a blue tinge to it you may see it as kind of blue so i think it kind of pulls it off very well but i wish it just had more of a blue tint to it like i mentioned the hot pink so it has the hot pink like shirt on the black pants with the hot pink designs down the 
side of it. Very cool looking. And then he has the gloves with the fingers cut out, allowed, you know, some of his like kinetic powers to come out. And then we have the bow staff in his one hand sticking there in the back. I believe this is the only version that has the bow staff, which is why I wanted it because I, I love the bow staff for his weapon. So I wanted one with him and not just the cards. I wish he had some cards in like this hand though as well. That'd make it so much better. But I'm excited to see the Entertainment Earth exclusive one like in hand because to me the metal looks more blue, but that could just be the way it looks in pictures. And then he has like a nice spread of cards out in front of him like he's throwing them and they glow in the dark and stuff so that would look pretty cool but unfortunately it didn't arrive to put in this video but this one still looks very cool again the walgreens exclusive ecc comic con exclusive gambit pop looks amazing and our final one is the villain toad and so toad's always a pretty like cool like weaselly character and stuff he's you know has power similar to a toad so his long tongue that comes out can get bugs and stuff he hops around and everything but this is like a classic looking toad in the colors and everything i don't believe it's 100 the original colors but it's still you know pretty classic he has like an all brown suit on with some purple like what always reminds me of like a jester's outfit so he has like a purple collar around his neck around his waist like skirting purple gloves purple boots and all the like cut out square designs on the tops of and stuff and then of course his face we have sort of like toad like features and stuff of course the tongue coming out was very similar to that but you can see with his face so he has the big old smile there with like nice yellow teeth and everything and like an angry looking face he has these big like uh, forehead from and i think is what they're called like protrusions sticking out and he even has little spots and i don't know if they can show up too well it's like they're not showing up you can kind of see it. there's like spots there right above his head and then there on the, by his eye and they're hard to see but they're pretty cool just you know give him the spots of like toads and everything and then the nice brown hair that's all kind of messed up and disheveled and it looks pretty good though for the head i love the head design but of course the tongue just steals it would have been cool if there was like a little fly or something sticking on the end of it but then the outfit like i mentioned earlier the brown with the purple looks very cool i just love that outfit look overall it's just always a fun thing i remember as a kid but of course with him being toad he's in like a leaping position so he's like jumping up into the air and stuff and you can see the position he's getting ready to do what would be like a superhero landing pose and stuff but just like a frog pose landing so very cool and i just love that and when i saw this i was like oh my god i've got to get this pop this was the one i was most excited for for ecc and i was just like i've got to get this courses on funko shop which is kind of hard to get sometimes but i was able to get it and then once i realized you know with the gambit stuff as well i was like oh shoot i need that one too and it was able to get out on walgreens so i'm super excited that they made toad because i figured this would be a character you know so kind of like obscure that they wouldn't make him but i'm super excited and i think he turned out really well this is definitely to me the best looking pop just overall i haven't really seen any issues of pain or anything so very cool for that so that's it for these new x-men funko pops we had the basic rogue the hot topic exclusive road the walgreens exclusive gambit and the funko shop exclusive toad and both of those were from emerald city comic con so i hope you enjoyed this review again i wish we had the other gambit to be able to include in here the entertainment earth one but unfortunately it didn't arrive but i hope you enjoyed this review if you want to see more funko pop videos you can check out the playlist over on the right side of your screen but if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up for us leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button right here in the middle thank you all for watching remember to stay awesome and i will see you next time